What is up YouTube? I am back. Back again with another banger. Um, and I am super excited about this video because I've waited for the shoe for a while now. And I finally got the sneaker that I liked. Now, um, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. If you're new to this video and this channel today, go ahead and subscribe. Like the videos if you do enjoy them. And leave me some comments and we can chat about the sneakers or anything about my channel. Now, this sneaker right here is the Chili Red 9s and it was pushed back last year a few times and finally released and I got a W on them but they were um, shipped late uh, two months to be exact so I've been waiting on this for two months they gave me a call and I was like yes I'm ready to pick them up and they have my size so I'm thrilled about having them and a lot of people do not like the Jordan 9 so let me give you a little bit of backstory of the Jordan 9 so I think the reflection of the Jordan 9 is this, that people look at the Jordan 9 as the sneaker that Michael Jordan did not play in basketball with, and that he retired, um, and he did retire from the game of basketball. He won three championships, he said he reached the pinnacle of his career, he accomplished everything he needed to, and he felt like there was no new challenges. And so he actually wore this with the Birmingham Barons, which he signed a contract for professional baseball in the Chicago area, which is connected with the Chicago White Sox. And so they made Tinker Hatfield design the shoe and went forward with it, even though Michael Jordan wasn't playing basketball. But he made it into, they made a special shoe for Michael Jordan to play baseball in it with baseball cleats. So people look at it like, oh, that's his baseball shoe. He didn't win championships in it. Well, guess what? This shoe is more than that, guys. So let's take a look at the bottom of the shoe first off. Look at this shoe. You have different languages as the traction, okay? You have like Russian, Swahili, uh, Chinese. There's five different languages on this shoe, and there's five different languages languages on this shoe. It's super dope, guys. And look at that oversized jump, man. And it means like six, I think five or six different meanings, which is like integrity and different types of like motivational things for life and accomplishments and goals so uh, another thing is this with the Jordan 9 this was a shoe that Jordan brand and Nike took global and Michael Jordan was the face of basketball and the Jordan brand and Nike and so they put a globe with the jump man on there to symbolize that now they're pushing Jordans across the world and selling them to different countries so they'll be available for people to use them and to enjoy them and buy them. And that took Jordan Brand to the next level, it took Michael Jordan's career to the next level and became iconic and we know him as my myself personally, the greatest basketball player of all time and the face of basketball and just he is the one that put my eyes on sneakers because I loved his shoes. So let's take a look at this amazing shoe right here and it looks familiar because the motorboat Jones is very similar to this which is the alter ego of Michael Jordan when he retired and it was in the Nike commercials and they gave him like nine different alter egos and that shoe symbolizes that character a uh, motorboat Jones so on the top of the shoe you have this is called Durabuck I hear people say canvas and mash and blah 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 this is Durabuck guys it is a synthetic material that they use in place of leather now suede they use in place of that uh, synth synthetically is Nubuck. So Durabuck is what is used and it's very uh, flexible, it's waterproof and very strong. So the material is really nice and it is quilted with the design and it's in that crimson red. And across the shoe from the top and all the way around the mud guard and the toe box is the uh, patent leather in that chili red which I think they should have called this like the Chicago Bulls because it looks like the Bulls colors. And then you have a red jump man with that black midsole, um, also with the red right there, which is I think rubber and that's made out of, like I said, there's the globe on the back right there guys, and you have the two three right there. Bang! And then you have Jordan on the tongue right there, and then you have the easy, fast uh, lacing system which is so cool and you have rope laces and then you have that uh, Durabuck right there in the toe box and then you have like the Hirachi style 
uh, booty inside the shoe for stability and support. And then you have that tab right there on the back. So if you guys want to try out the Jordan 9s and you not know if you like it or not, just take a look at it and know what it means. It's a global iconic shoe and it took Jordan brand to the next level. And I think it's a great shoe and I think this shoe is amazing. So guys, thank you for watching the video and go ahead and subscribe if you like this video and leave me some comments. Thank you so much, YouTube. I am out.